Um, I don't know why that's bunched up like that. Anyways, okay, so um, because I just posted a new video, I just posted a um new commercial, if you will. And I've been doing, you know, my editing, my writing, not my editing, I'm sorry. Um, my producing, my writing, you know, everything like that. So Miho Productions is a real thing. Um, and I want y'all to give me feedback. So if you saw my last video, let me know your thoughts, okay? Um, let me put it right here. Watch my last video. Watch my last video. Okay. So, yeah. What is y'all feedback? I like to um see what y'all saying and all that stuff. <sighs> mm. Wait. Okay. Somebody put me on to this. Let me try this. <gasps> oh, she's so pretty. Okay. Um... Okay, somebody asked, did I stop Vlogmas? In regards to that, honey, um, I have so many subscribers on YouTube and I got to find my niche on there, okay? So I don't want to continuously be producing, you know, content for not a lot of engagement, you understand? So I know that they're changing up algorithms and stuff like that, but I want to reel up more engagement on YouTube before I continuously post every single day. Um, because my work is going in vain, you know, um, but I did see something today that says it's not about numbers. It's about who felt it, but, um, I have too much of a differentiation between my numbers and my engagement. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get more anyways. Um, so yeah, I see people saying that my last video was good. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what is some other stuff y'all would like to see? Um, I like to touch bases with my audience, you know? Um, I had to go ahead and step up my um, content because one thing I noticed people be coming to me and they're like, hey, you know, I want to pay you $500 for promo. And I'm like, we can't. You know, I do, I invest too much in what I do. So I felt like, let me start doing more high-end stuff so people can understand how serious I take my content um, instead of trying to lowball me because they think that what I do is real simple. It's really not. I put a lot of effort into my stuff. Um, so thank you for that. Um, so yeah, a little bit of what's going on in the meantime I am working on so much stuff. I'm literally at the computer right now. Um, Christmas content is coming. Um, since I'm working with an actual team now, I don't get to just have it real quick. You know, a lot of people be like, la la, remake this. I'm not doing remakes no more. You know, um, remakes were, they were very fun. Um, but it was always predictable. Um, and it was fun. It got me to where I am. But, um... Uh, no, I'm so much more creative than, you know, remakes. And I liked to be the first to have them done. I truly, truly did. But um, now I'm more about quality instead of rushing to get it out first, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely uh, putting more effort and more time into stuff. It's not a, It's not a thing of me being the first to do it anymore. You know, so there's a lot of stuff that I'm just currently working on and really just trying to upgrade and grow um, because staying the same is stagnant and I'm definitely not trying to do that, you know? Um, okay, so yes, exactly. Somebody said we missed the old Lala. Well, honey, you could go ahead and watch the old videos respectfully. I hate when people say we missed the old Lala. The old Lala people she wasn't getting as many brand deals as I am today. You know, um, people want to see me act goofy and act dingy and stuff and be really surprised when they find out that I'm super intellectual. Um, it's a difference between acting dingy and acting silly just for views versus actually curating content and um, creating materials. So if you want that old stuff, there's new creators who's doing that. Um, 
that's not necessarily me anymore. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm still the same person. I'm still, you know, silly and all that extra stuff, but it's definitely going to be on a different level now. Um, let's say instead of it being just for IG, I'm like, creating productions now so that way when people look at me they could be like okay when we come to her we got to come with a budget she's dead serious about her business you understand so um i hope that that makes sense to you to the person has, who said uh we missed the old lala um <laughs> thank you i see my friends in here i appreciate y'all i'm trying to get to y'all um thank you to the people who like really just appreciate what the hell I do, I appreciate you for that. This is not easy. It's not, um, you know, and I'm not going to lie. Sometimes people be like, I, you used to be funnier. No, you liked when I look stupid and you liked when I did stupid stuff. Uh, like just so you could be like, okay, okay, okay. but brands don't pay for that. They don't. Um, you don't get put on TV with that. You know, you might get something, a one-off, a little one-moment deal. But once you stop doing that and once they get it one time, they're not going to use you again. You got to continue You gotta continue being smart and growing. Um, absolutely. I've done a TV show on a major um, television network and I'm definitely looking forward to doing more. Um, I can't wait. It's so much in store. I appreciate the podcast. Yes, if y'all haven't been listening to my podcast, you got to get into it. I have some amazing guests on there. Super fire guests. Um, super. Suki Hana, Lena Waithe, you know, Kim Whitley. There's a little bit of everybody who represent me on there, which I think is cool. So many people are so used to seeing, you know, one side of me. But let's be very clear. I love y'all be seeing me hang with the OGs as I like to call them. You know, the Niecy Nashes, the Kim Whitley's, the Sherry Shepherds, you know, the Bevy Smiths. I like the women who are older than me who pour into me. They are everything. Um, let me see. Uh, how are you doing? I hope you've been asked over and over again because Lala Sands care for you, your network. Yes, yes. I'm doing great. Um... I really, really appreciate you for asking. That means a lot. Um, yes, I'm definitely, I'm shooting for SNL. Um, I want to be on the large networks with extreme diversity, you know? Um, I want to see you on your own comedy show. Listen, that's the goal. That's absolutely what I'm going to create. If I don't if they don't give me my own TV show on TV, I'm going to get to the point where they're going to be like, we got to give her something just because I'm creating it myself. And that's what I'm doing now, creating, you know, many videos and productions on my page. So that way, when people look at me, they see me in that light. You see what I'm saying? Um, let me see. <laughs> so this year is coming to an end. Uh, can I get a job? What do you do? What do you do? Um, I'm bringing on so many people to my team, something that a lot of people don't know, which I don't publicize it. Um, it's not just me, you know, I'm on the front end, but I got a manager who has a management agency. I have an assistant. Um, I have, whew, I have an attorney. I have a marketing team. I got a publicist. You know, it's not just me. You know, I'm on the front end, but it's definitely a whole team behind me, you know, and we all eating, you know, we all definitely have to eat and I'm making sure that I go ahead and make it easier for all of us to eat, you know, um, let me see. Yes. Okay. Weight gain is everything. Yes. Um. For me, I'm not necessarily going for weight gain. I'm just going for fit, you know, um, being fit. That's absolutely what I've been doing. Um, for a long time, I was like, I want to gain weight. I want to gain weight, but I'm model size. You know, I am sample size for a lot of models and everything like that. So um, I just enjoy shaping up my body, you know, and for a lot of people, um, they want to gain if that's the case. 
I got something coming for you as well. Um, you seem to have such a beautiful soul and heart. I'm sure the blessings way are coming to you because of that. And of course, because your due diligence and hard work. Yes. Who's looking out for your well-being? God. God, I pray. You know, I pray every day. Um, and he's keeping me together. Um, you're a great role model. I promise y'all, please don't hold me to that standard because... Anytime people see you as a role model, the moment that you make a mistake, it's like, why would she do that? There's people watching. I don't want to be a role model. You know, if I inspire you by certain things that I do, so be it. But as far as looking to me to be the role model and, you know, having such a high standard for me, please don't. Because I'm sure to make mistakes along the way. And I don't want to have people in my ear, you know saying anything about me simply making a mistake because I am human, okay? Um, did Megan see your body video? I'm sure she saw it. I'm sure. Um, I know she saw it, but uh, I just did it because the video was fire for me. I like the song. I like Megan as an artist. She's everything, and I will continue to support her. Um, she's fire. In fact, I remember I did one of my first videos, well, one of my dance videos to her song and honey, literally shh, people went crazy behind that video. She been popping since she wasn't popping, quote unquote. Um, let me see. Um, how many years did you, that's so funny. I'll be forgetting. Oh, when are you in New Orleans getting married? We're not together anymore. We're not together anymore. Um, did you, do you chat with Tiffany Haddish? No, I don't, but Tiff is everything. Um, when do you guys start back filming? Boomerang is done. Boomerang is done. And so now I'm doing super, a lot of auditions in the midst of, you know, working and everything like that. So it's so, so, so much going on. Um, let me see. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I love Tiff too. She's everything. Um, what's the best, what's the best way? <laughs> what's the best way we can learn Spanish? The best way that you can learn Spanish, I would say being around some, uh, native speakers. Being around some native speakers, and if you can't do that, Duolingo is real cute. Um, Duolingo is real nice, honey. You could absolutely learn so much from there. What's your ultimate end goal and everything? So many people ask me, what's my ultimate uh, end goal? There is no end goal for me. I have not one ultimate goal. Um, I want to do it all continuously. So... I definitely want to do voice acting, which I'm going to start creating animations on my channel. Everything that I want to do, I'm going to create it on my own, on my own channel until people start seeing me as that. So um, voice acting, commercials, um, directing, you know, productions, all of those things. Um, 